ask a blockchain expert all of your questions? Welcome to The Block List. I'm your host, Emily Klein, and today's guest interview is with Canvas Jafari, CEO and co-founder of Edgecoin. Before we get started with the interview, please go ahead and subscribe to our content and find us on Patreon. Let's get to the interview. Okay, so would you mind explaining what Edgecoin is? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, no, I don't mind. <laughs> and uh, Edgecoin is actually uh, world's first um, blockchain as a service um, uh, company uh, within the educational sector. So with the Edgecoin, we want to really disrupt the education sector uh, despite other competitors that are kind of building up uh, platforms like Coursera or Udemy, just uh, but only on blockchain. So the use case is here. It's too niche for us. So we uh, decided um, um, in our initial conceptual work to go for a more comprehensive uh, approach and uh, take it on with the whole market and really disrupt the education sector uh, and bring solutions for problems or actual problems within the education sector for for the school teacher for the uh, high school teacher for the lecturer educator and so on and so on also not only for universities also for um uh, for companies um that are um uh, providing e-learning uh content to our to their uh employees very nice thank you um, so you went from a career in marketing to a career in cryptocurrency. Why the switch? Actually, uh, I uh, never, you, you can not leave marketing, actually. <laughs> you know, I decided to go for, for this whole mission. It's mm -hmm. kind of a mission uh, created out of a vision, <laughs> if you want to say so. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I will always be an online marketing guy, so uh, I, I, I won't lose my skills only because I have decided to go for for maybe a for for um, ca um, you know um, going for my dreams in order to make education uh, very uh, accessible for 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 all, for everybody um, in the world and. Uh, yeah, this is it. Actually, my my job uh, um, with uh, Edgecoin is uh, marketing. So I do a lot of business development, online marketing. I'm also involved in the conceptual work, uh, but you know I can't do the technical work. So <laughs> I do the marketing, online marketing. I try to raise awareness for the idea, and um, yeah, it's it's not actually it's not a switch for me. You know, now I, I do what I really love. This is this is maybe the switch. That's awesome. That's really great to hear. So you do state that you are an expert in blockchain. So when did you start learning about blockchain and how did you obtain such an expertise? All right. So I think this is uh this is the typical um the typical um kind of uh uh, career of most of the experts nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, blockchain experts. You know, I uh, uh, crossed uh, uh, the path with uh, cryptocurrencies uh, about four years ago, and um, I find uh, I found the idea very very fascinating to get rid of the middleman and have the, have this peer to peer uh, transaction. Uh, and with the uh, faster transaction times and uh, less uh, fees. And um, I was kind of directly con uh, convinced that this is going to be it, you know, mm -hmm. our future. Uh, and I was convinced that the blockchain technology is not only here to provide or supply uh, um, excellence for the for um, financial services, but also for our uh, for our for other aspects of our life. So I uh, I invested in Bitcoin. I invested in Ethereum. I was uh, like like one 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 and a half a year ago. I was uh, examining the market. I was monitoring, and uh, I um you know I asked myself why is there still no one taking care of uh you know real. Uh, problems of our world and kind of integrate the technology and uh, take the benefits of blockchain technology and bring it real to real life problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, 
it was the, the, the idea of uh, Edgecoin was born and I started to, you know, do the conception job uh, and um, yeah, great journey actually. And during the whole time I was, uh, you know, you, if, if you're, uh, if you want to go for something or if you're really uh, involved with, 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 uh, with, with a topic that really matters to you, you, you kind of, you're a sponge. Mm -hmm. You, you take it, it like, you know, you take information in and you, you analyze and, through this, I uh, I could um, actually um, gather my expertise uh, in terms of blockchain technology, and yeah, also um, setting up a lot of meetups with a lot of like-minded people, talking to people, talking to experts, other experts, and so on and so on. So it's a it's a lot of uh, research, uh, self-paced research and education, and this is what it takes to get uh, the expertise. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, so, what is your opinion on regulating cryptocurrency? Uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, experts. Um, um, uh, um, actually, experts that I really respect, um, uh, who are pretty, you know, they are kind of uh, opposing the idea of regulation uh, of the cryptocurrency sphere. Uh, but um, you know. Regulation means that that the people who are um, doing the, the laws, they're kind of uh, they have they, they we have their awareness or mm -hmm. you know the, the technology raised enough awareness to uh, put them on alert, and this is good because regulations regulations uh, regulation means always more awareness for 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 the topic, mm -hmm. and also the moment you have the regulation. Uh, you will see more growth, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, more people will try it because after it's regulated, they they won't be scared of you know some it's some scammy stuff because it's always like you know you hear st stories about money laundering, mm -hmm. Silk Road, and so on and so on, and uh, exchanges are getting hacked and money is getting lost and so on and so on with regulation with with terms and conditions that every exchange or provider has to fulfill, you won't see this uh, stuff happen uh, um, that much. And this is good for, for everybody, for the whole market, for the, and also for the authorities. So, mm -hmm. you know, why not participate uh, with, you know, with uh, taxes or whatever uh, and give back to society? So this is actually the basic idea. So it's kind of, you know, I don't want to say it's socialism, but it's always getting rid of, you know, the big brother. And um, I think uh, big, big brother will always, always be there. So Yeah. We, we always have these authorities who want to, yeah. you know. <laughs> Just watch over <laughs> everything that we do. Yeah. <laughs> so could you tell me about the, um, the fake posts or the scammers? Yeah, actually... <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, my opinion is pretty clear. Um, mm -hmm. most of the, most of the people who are victims to fraud, fraudulent uh, activities or, uh, imposters, I don't want to say that it's their own guilt mm -hmm. or they are guilty, mm -hmm. but, um, it's, it's the lack of information. You have to do more research. If, if you do research, if you get comfortable with the, with the matter, you won't you won't uh, you won't go for this scam stuff. You won't uh, you won't be the victim. So there are some signals. Uh, you know you can you can you can actually by by a little you know if you if you go on a website and see the website, you, there are a lot of signals that you, signals that you can get. Uh, and you know, um, based on that, you can uh, you can take the decision if it's scam or not. And people who are really new to this and they want to get, you know, they want to make money. Like it's a kind of gold rush right now. So everybody everybody thinks it's like you know Colorado to one one hundred fifty years ago, and everybody's going to get uh, rich. No, it's not. It's actually it's a little bit too late for that. To you know, to put five thousand dollars and get one million out of it, it's too late. Maybe. Four or four or five years ago, uh, but you can you can uh, you can build up a pass uh, you know a solid passive income or funds for for your you know actually when you when you are getting older and so on, so 
yeah, scammers can only be there if there are victims, and the victims are mostly uh, uh, very or at no, they have no education. They haven't educated themselves in this uh, in this topic. So mm-hmm. this is the reason why they are scammers. And I think, and this is one of the um, one of the reasons why why Edgecoin is there or education uh, on the blockchain should be there, because you can. Uh, you can provide a special and specific uh, uh, knowledge with people and this will lead to uh, less scam. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's very true. So mm-hmm. you are an early investor. For those who want to make a good early investment, what should they be looking for right now? Uh, most most of the people would probably go for ICOs. I go for ICOs too. Mm-hmm. But there are there are uh, I mean the um, the the whole ICO um, topic and hype it was uh, kind of 2017. Mm-hmm. So in 2018 2019 we will see ICOs. Mm-hmm. But most of if you want to go for ICOs or for new uh, for newcomers you should always look for for concepts that are providing at least a hybrid model of their uh, proof, uh, proof, um, uh, proof of work or proof of stake. So the best, uh, the best ICOs uh, out there will be those who are uh, going for for state of the art um, technology in terms of blockchain. Mm-hmm. Because um, if you're going for for uh, the technologies that are still uh, praising proof of work. Which is, uh, you know, the first generation is kind of going for the, you know, for a horse instead of for a Ferrari. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you compare it to a, to a to a proof of stake, you should go always for state of the art technologies. And this is uh, these are stuff like, um, you know, uh, functional functional t- uh, blockchain uh, mm-hmm. chains or uh, blockchains that are pro program function in a functional with a functional language program uh, program programming language mm-hmm. or proof of stake coins mm-hmm. and you should also if you have more money to invest you should also uh, have a look on so-called master note so through staking your coins and you know a specific amount of coins into a wallet uh, you can you can earn a passive income through uh, block, uh, you know, they they call it, uh, re, you know, block rewards. Mm-hmm. You don't have to mine. We, you only block your coins, and uh, uh, you know, you secure the network mm-hmm. through blocking the coins and uh, preventing by blocking your coins that attacks. The fifty-one percent attacks can happen. Mm-hmm. You know, so this is a kind of this is kind of two thousand eighteen, two thousand. 2018 and 19 um, advice that I can give, but it's not an uh, investment advice. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, what is another piece of advice that you could give to those just starting out in the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain? I would, I would say, I would say, um, it's 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 always like that in life. Mm-hmm. Do your own research and due diligence. Do your research. If you want to invest, uh, go to uh, go on the website. Uh, uh, look up the white paper. If you don't understand, you should at least try to understand. Mm-hmm. Because if you read a white paper, you will see a lot of uh, you will see a lot of question signs um, popping up over your head. And uh, this is good because you will go and do the research in order to understand these questions. And mm-hmm. through this, you are analyzing already. You know, you are doing research. You are doing more in-depth research of, of, of one coin. And uh, the, another thing is, if you're a newcomer, don't, don't, um, don't experiment. Go for the safe stuff. Go for Bitcoin. Go for Ethereum. Go for, for the top 20. Don't. Uh, don't be too greedy and don't go for, you know, I buy some coin for zero point zero zero two dollars and and I think in next year it's going to hit, you know, five dollars. This is actually this is too greedy. 
try to be try to do your uh, do your homework, do your research and due diligence, and based on that, go for solid investment. Try to be more conservative at the beginning, at least. After you have uh, gathered enough knowledge, you can read the signs, you can read the signals, and then you can go also for stuff that are too underestimated or something like this. So That's perfect. Thank you so much for all of that advice. I know that's definitely going to help a lot of people out there that are just learning and looking to make a smart, safe, and educated <laughs> investment. So we Very just good. want to thank you so much for giving your time to us today, and we hope that you take care. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And to the folks out there, be careful. There are scammers. So do your own research, uh, research and due diligence and you will have success. <laughs> I'm sure about that. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye.